you're going to ski in these big peaks over here in the French Alps and these resorts like Val d'Isere and Tien, you need a guide because the avalanche danger is real and big and the terrain is immense. Our guide is Henry Schneedwin from Newton, Massachusetts, born and bred on the Red Sox, the Celtics, and the Bruins. Henry and I used to race against each other in high school. He's from Newton, I'm from Milton, and every week we used to battle it out 1-2 for the league championship. Henry is awesome. He came here in 1986. He went on to become an avalanche expert, and today he teaches talks all over the French Alps on awareness on avalanche safety. His whole gig is safety is freedom. If you've got the information, you can go out in the backcountry and come back home safe and alive. We're going to rip up the steeps and the chutes with Henry. Do stuff like this, it's just nice to be alive. Just like an older man Things he thought he thought he knew Safety is freedom. Henry's Avalanche Talk, or HAT, is a group of professionals who take their freedom and adventure very seriously. Keeping things safe out there is an essential part of that freedom. You question all the things you have to offer. You wonder where the fair is fair. Ninety percent of the time, the avalanche victims set the avalanche off themselves or someone in their group set it off. And sometimes some, it's, a, it's someone in another group above the victim. And that's a very important thing to remember. There's been an emergency. The number's now work one. The whole world is numbering the damage it has been done. Now it's time for us to have to decide. But before any decisions are made, we're gonna have to rewind. See, ah! My interest in, in avalanches began with a very close call about 20 years ago when I was 19 years old. It was the first time I'd ever skied in the French Alps. And it was also the first time I'd ever skied off the trails, off piste as they call it over there. Our objective with the Henry's Avalanche Talk is to awaken you to some of the dangers that exist out there by giving you some clues about what to look for for instability and also um, give you some ideas about how to reduce the odds of you being taken in, in an avalanche. Learn to love the thing that you hate Surviving when salvation is arriving Just a little too late Things are not the way they seem And I don't seem the way I am Dark and elusive like a silver moonbeam Caught between the lion and the lamb That's who I am and that's, that's really where our motto, uh, safety is freedom, comes from. It's just getting out there into a beautiful place, having a lot of fun, and, but keeping it, keeping it safe at the, at the same time. Is it heredity or am I romantically towards amnesty or be a nihilist? All these juxtapositions just to jockey for position as a world power. We've approached the final hour. This is the north face of the Prom Coup. A uh, bit of an overhang there, a bit, bit slabby at the top because the last snowstorm there was some wind loading on top of, uh, of, of, of a weak layer that's been building up all winter long. It was a weak layer of depth or uh, goblet as, the, as the, the French call it. And uh, so it was, took, took a little bit of thought before we jumped in there because obviously it's quite exposed. You can see the cliffs underneath the tracks there. And um, you know, so you, if something lets loose there, even if it's a small slab, it's going to take you over those cliffs. So definitely a lot of thought before we go in there, uh, before before we went in there. But certainly very, very worth it. If you are taken underneath the snow and it is, and you're not getting out of it, you want to make a, a um, an air pocket in front of your in front of your mouth uh, because you need to get as much room as you can to take up that carbon dioxide that builds up in the air pocket around your mouth. That's how people die now. It's not a lack of oxy oxygen. It's a I think they call it hypercarbonation or something like that, or asphyxiation by carbon dioxide. 
So one of the golden rules of off-piece skiing is going one at a time on slopes that you feel are suspect. And the reason for that is that on a slope, if you put one person on it uh, at a time, that's a lot less weight than two people, which is a lot less weight than three or four. And extra weight on a slope is often what gets it to, uh, to slide in an avalanche. Hey, I'm going to go off for another run and hop here in the gondola and team and ski up and ski down to Ladai in Val d'Isere. Don't you go away, because when we come back, more spring skiing from the French Alps. The day was down, we're running the day.